Okay, uh, Dalvin Cook, free agent, guys. Free agent, the Jets said bye-bye. They parted ways. The Browns could sign him if they were interested. We know that they have had a problem at running back this year, certainly with Nick Chubb going out. Tyvis, you're rolling your eyes. I ain't said nothing. Well, then you're going to start. Are you at least kicking the tires on Dalvin Cook? So, so this is my thing, Jay. <laughs> this is so my it's always starts that way. Yeah, I know what, it. What, what, what. Dalvin Cook, if you're telling me I'm getting number 33 from the Vikings, like, cool. Like, that's a, yes. We, we the old get, Dalvin yeah, Cook. Yeah, we get him tomorrow. But it's a reason that this guy's numbers is like this. Like, and people are like, well, he had Brees Hall in front of him. Listen, if he was that good. There's no way you're going to tell me that they're going to keep him off the field. Why would you keep a productive running back off the field? If anything, you will want that so you could take hits off of Brees Hall so he could be more healthy towards the end of the season. You can go with a one-two punch. Right. It, it just ain't the same. It ain't just, and, and I'm looking at our running back room, okay? Jerome Ford, Kareem Hunt, Pierre Strong. What does he bring to the table that, yeah. that you can't get out of those three? That's And that's the, what I'm having a hard time with. Like, Jerome Ford, he kind of – he kind of had bad vision, and he kind of tiptoed a little bit. But the Jets game, he actually ran pretty hard. He broke some tackles, found some creases, right. and made some nice moves. If he's going to continue to play like that, I'll take that okay. any day of the week. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know what he brings here that we don't have already. That's my. That's right. where I'm struggling well, you, with. G. Bush, you guys interested? Uh, I'm not interested. Listen, I, I, again, like we said with Jarvis Landry, there's no downside necessarily, you know beyond who maybe you'd cut off the roster. But I saw the stat from my man Cleve T.A. He said, he said who said, because somebody had said, it might have been Earl in our chat group, said, well, the Jets' offensive line's bad, which is true, although Brees Hall's been pretty good. On, uh, uh, you know, they have stats for everything, though, of course. <laughs> so, on all NFL running, on runs, where this perfect blocking, you know, yeah. the Cowboy did, the, cow, the offensive line did their job, he is bottom 10 in the league in yards per carry in those situations. Bottom 10 in the league. Is that What is that stat called? Is that an efficiency stat? <coughs> yeah, I don't, uh, it just says he has a bottom 10 lowest yards per carry among all NFL running backs on perfectly blocked runs. So it's not his offensive line. Okay, that, that, though, is uh, isn't that subjective on perfectly blocked runs? I guess there could be some subjectivity to it, but yeah. it, it's clear it, it's not going to be to the point where, okay, that was a disaster by the offensive line. That, it's kind of like that our PFF be, grades, right? Yeah. Like, it, it's, it, it's, it's a number. It's a number. And yeah. then the, the standard numbers for him are not good. Obviously, his yards per carry is awful. His right. efficiency numbers are bad. And if you look back at, at the analytics of his numbers last year in Minnesota, he had already started to decline. And that's why they cut him, essentially. Sure. Well, I said, I, that's why I said number yeah. 33. Not number three from the Vikings. Number yeah. 33. How old is Dalvin Cook? Oh, he's not that Like, 27? See, I think he's under 30. Yeah. Dalvin like, Cook is 28 years yeah. old. But here's the thing, guys. A lot guys of, get old quick sometimes. At that position, yeah. a lot of guys go over the hill at 28. What We've the, seen it time uh, and time again. You know what? That gives me such an appreciation for guys like Emmett Smith. Sure. Guys that played Adrian that position. Peterson. Adrian Peterson was another one. Guys that played that position. What I will say. He gets so many hits. About him. is, I, If I'm the Browns, I'd sign him to practice squad. I, I put him on the practice squad. As, as just a body. For insurance. Just in case. Yeah, insurance. Uh-huh. I just Come think on, there's guys. teams that, that maybe would give him more of an opportunity. As like Kansas a, City's down to one the running chat. back I right now. I think you said this in the chat, and I yeah. agree. There are teams that would need him more than we do. Right. Yeah. Baltimore doesn't really – has like one back or, right now. Kansas City's got two of their three backs hurt. This is, this is Yeah, a, that'd be a good landing spot this for is, This is the craziest analogy of all time, and hopefully this will shut this down. Mm-hmm. Use this argument against anyone who says there's a reason for he's on the market. All of us have significant others. I'm pretty sure we're not the first person we've ever saw our significant others in the world. They've been out here. Maybe they've had boyfriends. Maybe they haven't. Maybe they've been married before. It's like saying, you know what? Why is this woman single? If she was so great, somebody else would have got her, right? No, maybe you just got lucky. Maybe you saw something in her that these other idiots did not see. And, and when we talk about sports, we always say, well, somebody else, maybe they were right. They would have kept them. No, intelligence is not really big in our country. <laughs> like, everybody ain't smart. Matter of fact, it might be 3% of the people that really have some sort of common sense. 
a lot of times this kind of stuff comes down to opportunity, motive, and, 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 and what this guy still has left. A lot of times we look at what the guy has left and forget about the opportunity and the motive. If you get Dalvin Cook in here, he's going to be motivated just like Joe Flacco. We see it all the time. We, we heard about Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt's washed. Get him up out of here. He has 10 touchdowns. He can feel a, a position. He can feel a role. When you bring in veterans, you ain't trying to ask him to be the 33. He don't got to be 33 for the Vikings. What he can do is he can catch the ball out of the backfield. What he can do is cause some mismatches. What he can do is give you a little bit more burst than uh, Pierre Strong. So when I'm looking at these moves, whoa, but the numbers will say, whoa, he can. whoa, wait. A, but my thing is, my argument Pierre Strong is, doesn't play anyway. My argument is, and I think he should. Opportunity. Yeah. So you said, what can he do? Catch the ball out the backfield. Well, mm-hmm. Jerome Ford is supposed to be like one of the best backs. Out the let, 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 that's be, what let, I hold on. Jerome Ford. Listen, I've been down on Jerome Ford all year, but he's he coming had, off his best game of the he season. He had one game. We, I don't know why we, I don't know why we always do this. Some people we will discount five games. He be like Joe Flacco. They be like, man, I gotta see it again look six times. Look who's talking to me, Mister Deshaun Watson. Hey, but, but, <laughs> five and one. What you mean? Gee, that's confirmation bias. What, yeah. what, what you just said. Like, if we believe that a guy is that still dude? has something left, then we push to the side all of the negative numbers and everything else. Yep. I will say this. I, I texted you guys this yesterday. We've had a pretty good run with Jets castaways. And I, I'm not saying that Calvin Cook is going to be the same thing, but I, I think I have the answer to this question. We're in a situation where we want to do what? We want to go into the playoffs healthy. Loaded. We want to eliminate the number of hits that our big playmakers take. So here's the answer. You call him up. You get him here by tomorrow. He goes through practice. Running backs can assimilate into an offense pretty quickly. He sure. comes into the offense, and you make him your workhorse for week 18. He gets 25 carries, and it's an audition. And here's what you tell him. We're going to rest our guys. We most likely will go back to Ford as our lead pony. But show us. Show us what you have. 25 carries have your name on it this week. What if he goes for 157 and three touchdowns? I mean, it's possible. Bengals but, have a bad run defense. I think right what now. that does is that eliminates any questions down the road. Because let's just say, for example, he signs with Kansas City and has that game in Kansas City. What are we all going to say? We, we could have had him. Could have been ours. And, and I'm, I'm a big per, I'm a big proponent of being aggressive. I I didn't get here by being stagnant. If we wasn't, if we didn't go look at Joe Flacco, if we didn't bring back Kareem Hunt, if we wasn't, if we wasn't going out finding Dustin Hopkins. These, Dustin Hopkins, if we were not aggressive on just those three positions, you sitting here talking about the draft. Don't get to the gates and turn around and say, "Well, we don't need anybody." No, I'm always need some people. I always need to bring them Man, in. I can't remember resume. Bring them in. Listen, I can't. In, in, in the end. I, like I said, there's no risk. Who can't I, right. bring him in? That's why I say in. bring him in and yeah. let him play but one game. I, I, my guess is he's got nothing left in the tank. The guys you're mentioning, none of them had played. I, well, Hopkins, they signed it. They got in the beginning. Well, of the DeAndre season. Hopkins was a guy that he I, lost wanted, his job. I wanted he, to bring him in. No, no, no. no. You talking about Dustin Hopkins? But Dustin Hopkins had lost his job. Yeah, but DeAndre well, Hopkins was another one. It's in right. this exact same boat. We talked about him in the off season. He's available. He fits a need for us. Let's go get him. Right. We wanted him too, but he had come off a good year. He wasn't coming off a bad yeah, year. Yeah, but there were those That's that said difference. he's over 31. He's washed up. Agreed. But the difference between that is he was still pretty good last year, right? Uh, and Flacco and Kareem Hunt hadn't played, whereas Dalvin Cook has played this year, and he's been arguably one of the worst good backs point. in the league. What was Cook's numbers last year? Do you have them available? I do, yeah. Dalvin Cook has not been the same player in the last couple of seasons. Okay. Let me pull up his pro football reference page. But last season, in 2022, his traditional numbers were pretty solid. He did <laughs> run for 264 carries, 11, uh, 1,173 yards, and eight touchdowns. His yards per carry were right around league average. Uh, the year before, he was slightly more yards, slightly fewer touchdowns. In 2020 was when he went bonkers. 1,600 yards in 14 games with 16 touchdowns. He hasn't been that player. So he's he's three years removed from his Pro Bowl 
numbers. Yeah, yeah. But the, from, you know those numbers last year. I mean, he was. He was I think a pro he's worth the kick year, of the tires, so. guys. I Fine. really do. Bring him in. I just let see your workhorse. Like, who are you taking carries away from? Well, here's the thing. Yeah. You save any hits that might possibly be injury related yeah. on your main running backs, and I still want to see Pierre Strong. So yeah, maybe I would bring him in, give him twenty. Give Pierre Strong 10. I don't think it's I, – I can safely say we're not going to throw it 40 times this week. Probably with not. With Joe Flacco not in there. So let's test the run game. Let's let's use this as a practice run for the playoffs. We have an opportunity well, to try to fine-tune the running game. And, guys, every once in a while you scratch a lottery ticket and you hit. That's what this you is. You never know. You've got it in front you of you. Know. Pay the money, scratch it off, and see what's there. And if he does yeah. have a huge game, now you go into the playoffs – Every team you face is going to be thinking, at least, wow, Dalvin Cook still got something left. Yeah, that's possible. Not a bad idea. And uh, in the end, I don't think they're going to sign him. But, again, anybody you sign at this time of the year, it's no money or essentially no money, and there's no risk.